Hey guys, it's Baron, and today I'm going to show you how to download and play Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep on your PC. Now, I mean, I've figured this out, um, and worked out all the bugs and glitches and kinks in the system at about 6 a.m. this morning. I pulled an all-nighter last night. I was so ecstatic that I figured this out, because I've been trying to do this for, like, weeks on end. Anyway, um, so yeah, let's get started. So, first, you want the um, latest PSP emulators. So, you're going to open up your browser. I'm going to do this. Okay. And I have the, this is the website right here, but I'm just going to show you how to get to it real quick, even though I'll put the link in the description. Um, you're going to Google JCPSP. Okay. You want the automated builds for it, because this is just a constantly updated list. If you find um, a more updated one or something, please comment, let us know, um, because yours might run a bit smoother. But um, you're going to click right here, or I mean whatever um, version of Windows or whatever you're running. I'm using a 64-bit, so this is what I downloaded. Now I already have it, so I'm not going to download it again but that's just so you guys know now I have and then once you do that um, you have to extract the files and everything just like in my previous how-to video I made a, file, a folder for emulators and here is the file that you'll get from it um, so to run to make this work um, you're gonna go down here to start Windows AMD 32 or 64 depends on which one you download I believe and here you go. This is your PSP emulator. Now, to get Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, I've been, like I said, I've been trying to do this for weeks on end, maybe even like a month and a half, two months, and I could not find, like, any working download of, an, of the .iso file. So, um, but I, I, I eventually did. Um, I'm not going to tell you how to get it, per se. What I will tell you is that you should Google uTorrent, and I'll even give you a website that you can use. Um, after you Google uTorrent, um, if you Google ScanTorrent, we'll say. Here, you want this, right here. tscan.mg. Here you go. Um, and then all you have to do is use this website to search for the Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep .iso file. Okay. Okay. Now, once you have done all that and you get the file, it's going to look just like this, all nice and shiny. And you want to, um, it's going to be in your downloads file. Oh, it should. And once you get it, you need to move it to this folder right here that is inside your uh, emulator folder. Okay? You need to move it to UMD Images. Okay? And once you do that, um, all you have to do is start up your emulator, go over here to File, Load UMD, and scroll down a bit. And there it is. There is your birth by sleep uh, game. And hit load and then you have to come over here and hit run. Now there are so many different uh, configurations with this emulator and I've this is what I ran into the most problems with. I mean different um, so many different configurations. Um, what I found works best is you need to have this checked right here. This is the only thing you need checked under the videos tab. Or under the video tab, I should say. I mean, I've tried like using shaders, I've tried using this vertex, vertex catch thing. All of this, I mean, it your frame rate is terrible. It destroys the quality of the videos and of the gameplay. It does not work out very well. This, on the other hand, right here, 
is like a gift from God. <laughs> it makes like you're you'll be running a solid 28 to 40 FPS throughout the whole game, and all the shadows look good under all the characters. All you can even see the hair waving like in the wind. <laughs> it works perfectly. All right. Um, what else? Also, oh, also under memory tab, you need to have this checked, I believe. And for media, oh, one more thing, Sonic Stage right here. You need to download this. I'll show you how to do that real quick. Here is Sonic Stage. Uh, the download. This is where the link I'm going to put in the description will send you, but if you feel like doing it on your own, just come over here to Google and go Sonic Stage, just like that. And it should be... I use the CNET download, I mean, if you find a better one, or don't trust CNET, or I mean, I don't know. This is the one I used, and it works really well for me. So, um, yeah, what else was there, configuration-wise? Leave, um, maximum method size, 3000, I mean, I'm pretty sure this is default. Um, I've tried different displays, and it, all of these kind of mess up. Um, graphics a little bit so I would just keep it at native and I mean really when you first uh, load this up this window will be about that big or something and I mean you can just do what I just did and just drag and drag it to whatever size you want and it still looks fine so yeah um, there you go and here's some gameplay oh one more thing um, your controller your button, your layouts, is, I mean, it's not this, this isn't default, this is my customized one. I mean, if you want to use what I use, go for it. This is just what I, I guess I would say I recommend using this, because, it, I mean, it looks really easy. But yeah, that was just one little more tidbit of information. This world is just too small.
see an empty world like a prison. I imagine you will be right at home. So yeah, if you guys uh, have any questions, comments, suggestions, uh, leave a comment below, please. And if this was helpful to you, um, please like or subscribe for more. And I'll be seeing you guys around.